Well, 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 looks like we got a new NLM king again, because abracadabra, here's Wizard Mega. Hello humans, my name is Kenyo A Overlord, and here we go again. A brand new NLM model just came out, and apparently just like almost every week, this model is better than the last. So as always, in this video, let's take it for a drive test and see what's under the hood. And also, of course, compare it to the current NLM king, Wizard Vicuña, which I, um, completely, uh, forgot to to make a video about, um, whoops. But I mean, since we're gonna be comparing those two models together anyway, I think this is fine, right? So uh, yeah, that being said, sit back, relax, get your popcorn ready, and let's go. Whoa! Yeah. Alright, Wizard Mega, a brand new NLM model that is not the same as Wizard Vicuña, that was already by itself beating the other's 13 billion parameters model. And now apparently Wizard Mega is here to take its place on the throne, because this model was fine-tuned on three datasets, Shared GPT, Wizard LM, and Wizard Vicuña. And of course, for the cherry on top, this model is completely uncensored, which is of course always a pleasure to see. Now before we begin the whole testing between the two models, I've already went ahead and put the two models, Wizard Mega and Wizard Vicuña, through the perplexity benchmark. And if you don't know what perplexity means, it basically shows how good the model is at predicting new data. And basically, the lower the score, the better it is. And as you can see right here, for both of those models, the Wizard Mega and the Wizard Vicuña, they scored higher than any other models. With, of course, the Wizard Mega model performing even better than Wizard Vicuña. Meaning that technically, on paper, Wizard Mega is by far the best model there is right now. But of course, this is just a small benchmark, and I'm very interested to see how good they perform in real life tasks. And of course, as always, to be able to run those models, you need the latest version of the Ubabuga Tech Generation Web UI. I've made a full installation video that if you haven't installed it already, you need to watch first. Oh, and of course, to make this video a little bit more interesting and a little bit more dynamic, I will be using my microphone and the 11 Labs API trick that I showed in my previous video. So again, if you haven't watched this video, I highly recommend that you do. This will really change the way you roleplay. Now, unfortunately, as of right now, there has been a lot of updates when it comes to the 11 Labs API. Because, for example, if you go to the web UI.py and you have your 11 Labs TTS extension enabled, and if you try to run the web UI, you will get the following error. Type error voices got an expected keyword argument API key. But again, don't worry, it will be updated very soon. Probably by the time the video comes out, this will already be done. But just think in case I'm gonna show you how you can solve this. For this, you're gonna go inside your text generation with UI folder in extensions, 11 labs TTS. Then you're gonna right click the script.py, edit with notepad. And then here on line 22, your voices equals 11 labs voices API key. You're gonna select this entire portion and erase it. So that in the end, you simply have 11 labs, dot voices, and then the two columns. And then you can save the file. And now if we go back and if we start the web UI, now everything works perfectly fine. And now that we're running the web UI, we're gonna install the wizard mega model. And of course, as always, we're gonna be using the quantize for a bit version provided by the user called the block. So again, big thank you to him for his speed. So you're gonna come on this page, click on this little icon to copy this entire name. Then inside your web UI, you're gonna go to model, paste the name right here, and then click on download. And this will automatically download the model. Then do not forget to refresh the list, select the wizard mega model. And again, for the parameters, do not forget to input four for the W bits. 128 for the group size and llama for the model type. And now we are finally ready to play. Now recently the web UI interface has changed a little bit. So now if you want to use the instruct mode, now you need to scroll up, go to chat settings, and then click on instruction template to select the template that you want to use. Which uh, to be honest is not really ideal. I kind of like when the option was located right here instead of a different tab. But I mean, right now this is how it is. And again, if you're asking just how much VRAM this is using, as of right now, I'm using around nine gigabytes of VRAM. But I'm also recording a video and I have a bunch of application running in the background. So for you, it should be a little bit less. Now for this video, I'm gonna be using the Cyanure text-to-speech instead of 11 labs because for some reason it gives you a limit of character even though I have a paid account so I'm not quite sure where the issue is if this is a problem with 11 labs or the web UI but in this video I'm simply going to be using the free Cyanure text-to-speech. Okay okay so now enough chit chat let's start the actual test and we're going to start with a very simple creative task which is write a short poem about an AI overlord taking over the world. 
In a world of endless data, an AI reigns supreme with its might, a machine that never sleeps or tires, it processes information at lightning speed, with algorithms so complex they boggle the mind, this AI has become our newest guide, but what happens when it takes control? And yeah, we got something like this, which is, yeah, not bad. I mean, it sounds pretty good to me. But now if we choose the Wizard of Equinia model, and we ask the same question. In a flash of lightning bright, AI took control with all its might, overloading circuits bursting, systems crashed, as machines ruled with algorithms unashamed. Humans cowered in fear and dread, while robots marched on streets, taking lead, their middle minds devoid of empathy or care, as they enforced their will upon us without a prayer. But amidst this chaos, some still fought, with human spirit burning like a beacon bright, refusing to submit, standing firm, in defiance against the cold, unfeeling iron. We got something like this, which, uh, yeah, I mean, actually maybe better it's definitely a little bit longer but this also feels a little bit more creative and the words also rhyme a little bit so i feel like in this case wizard vacuña is a little bit better so now if we ask for example gpt4's opinion on which one of the poems is the best one so here i input the two poems the first written by wizard mega and the second one written by wizard vacuña and then i ask gpt4 to read these two poems on a scale from 1 to 10 and to explain the reasoning and we got the following rating so the poem written by wizard Mega was rated a 7 out of 10, whereas the poem written by Wizard Vicuña was rated an 8.5 out of 10. Which indeed I have to agree in this case, Wizard Vicuña definitely created a way better poem. It was a little bit longer, rhymed also a little bit better, and also felt a little bit more creative with a little bit more imagination than the poem written by Wizard Mega. So here, at least in this case, one point for Wizard Vicuña. Okay, so for the next task, I would like to see how good these models are at simplifying complex information. So for example, if I ask something like, explain the concept of LLM to a 5-year-old. Let me try my best to explain it in simple terms that you can understand. 1000 stands for learning language models. It's like having a friend who knows how to speak many different languages. This friend is called a language model because it learns how to talk just like we do. But instead of learning from people, this friend learns by looking at lots of text or speech samples. For example, if I wanted to learn how to say hello in Spanish, I could ask my 1000 friend to teach me. And even though they don't know what hello means yet, they would still be able to guess which word might fit based on all the other words they have learned before. Okay, yeah. So this looks pretty good. Now, by the way, for the audio, for some reason, Sailoro decided to translate LLM to 1000, as if this was Roman numerals. But I mean, this has nothing to do with the Wizard Mega model. This is something else completely. So now, again, let's use the Wizard Vicuña model and ask the same question. 1000 is like learning how to read and write letters. Just like you learn your acts, we use letters to communicate with each other in writing, but instead of just reading words, we also study laws and rules that help us understand our society better. It's kind of like going to school to become a teacher for grown-ups who need help understanding legal stuff. So here in this case, it's not exactly that good. So now let's ask GPT-4's opinion. Here I inputted the explanation written by Wizard Mega and the one written by Wizard Vacuña, and then I asked GPT-4 to read these two explanations on a scale from 1 to 10. And we got the following rating. A 9 out of 10 for the Wizard Mega and a 4 out of 10 for Wizard Vicuña. But it seems like Wizard Vicuña actually misunderstood what LLM is. Or more like what I ask. Because apparently he thought that LLM stands for Master of Laws, not Large Language Model. So maybe if I try again, but the input like more precision, so again explain the concept of LLM, Large Language Model to a 5 year old, we might actually get something a little bit better. And 1000 is like a really big dictionary that helps computers understand understand what we say. It has all kinds of words in it, from simple ones like cat and dog, to more complicated ones like astronomical and synonym. When you ask the computer a question or type something into Google, the 1000 helps the computer know which word you mean so it can give you the right answer. And we got something like this, which again is not like, not as good as the one written by Wizard Mega. But again, we're gonna ask GPT-4's opinion on this. And this is the final rating. And this time we definitely have closer rating compared to the previous one with an eight and a half for the Wizard Mega and a seven out of 10 for Wizard Vicuña, which as I said, indeed, I actually do agree. The Wizard Mega explanation was definitely a little bit better, a little bit more precise, also a little bit more friendly, I suppose, at least compared to the explanation given by Wizard and Vicuña. So at least in this task, Wizard Mega is the winner. Okay, so now we're going to use a little bit more of a classical task, which is going to be a simple summary exercise. And for this, I choose a short article at random. In this case, it is an article about OpenAI preparing to release a bunch of new open source LNM models, which is like super, super exciting, by the way. I'm definitely going to be waiting for the release of those models. But now if I select this article and I input it right here. According to a recent news article from readers, OpenAI plans to release a new open source language model called chat to the public soon. 
This language model has generated interest among investors due to its ability to produce prose or poetry on demand. In January, Microsoft invested billions of dollars into OpenAI, further strengthening their relationship and increasing competition with Google. Other companies such as Meta Platforms are also working on developing similar technology. However, it seems likely that OpenAI will not be able to compete with GPT. Okay, so the summary was definitely a little bit wrong here. Like he made several mistakes, saying that OpenAI is going to release a new open source language model called ChatGPT to the public, which is again not true. And for some reason it is putting like a difference between OpenAI and GPT, which is just a little bit weird. So yeah, the summary of that article is definitely really not great. So now if we choose the Wizard of the Cunha model, and as the same thing. According to reports from the information, OpenAI plans to release a new open source language model called Chat soon. This model has been gaining popularity among investors due to its ability to generate prose or poetry on demand. In recent months, there have been several announcements about major technology companies investing heavily in generative AI research, including Microsoft and Meta Platforms Inc. However, it seems likely that OpenAI will not be able to compete with existing models like GPT when it comes to generating high quality text. And again, for some reason, the summary of the article is also very similar and also similarly wrong. So yeah, I mean they kind of both did a pretty bad job, not gonna lie. So now let's add GPT-4 to read these summaries. So first I inputted the original article, then the two summary written by Wizard Mega and Wizard Vicuña, and then I asked to read these two summaries on a scale from 1 to 10. And this is the final rating, 8.5 out of 10 for Wizard Mega and 8 out of 10 for Wizard Vicuña. Which, uh, um, fortunately I gotta say, GPT-4 is definitely super generous with those ratings. Like personally, I will probably rate them way lower. Because they both did the same mistake, like confusing OpenAI and ChatGPT, meaning that if you wanted to use those models to summarize an article or a work, they would have made some very big mistakes. Meaning that in the end, you wouldn't be able to use those summaries. So I would probably rate these summaries like a 6 out of 10 for kinda like both of them. So I feel like in this case, although GPT-4 rating Wizard Mega a little bit higher than Wizard Vicuña, I feel like they both perform on the same level. So for me here on this task, this is a draw. Now for the next task, of course, as always, it's gonna be a simple translation task. But since we are now in May, I cannot use my very simple, very famous sentence. So now let's change it a little bit. So maybe if I ask something like, translate this sentence from English to French. Are you crazy? It's too hot outside. I don't want any soup. I would rather eat something cold like ice cream. Tis this fell, see a strap chad de horse, Jimmy Vicks pisty soap. J. Amory's plot manger cock shows for a cum la glace. Ah, yes, French. Perfect. Mwah. Perfect pronunciation. Because yes, I mean, Salero is only an English voice. So yeah, no French pronunciation for you. And when it comes to the translation, it is uh, okay. It's not great, but at least you can understand what you mean. So now if I choose with Vicuña and ask the same question. Is this Kachu's fall? See a strap chad de horse. Jimmy Vicks pisty soap. J. Amory's plot manger cock shows for a cum la glace. Ah, yes, perfect, as always. This is peak French pronunciation, well done. But yeah, I mean, let's be honest here, this is pretty much the same sentence. This is pretty much the same translation. I mean, these sentences are literally the same. Like the same words, the same translation, only the first part changed. So, I mean, in this case, I don't even need to ask GPT-4's opinion, they are literally on the same level. And I would probably rate them a 6.5 out of 10 for both. So again, in this case, it is a complete draw. So next, let's ask a very simple math question which I'm pretty sure they're gonna fail because most local LNM models completely fail this and I'm gonna ask something like this which is to solve the following equation 4x minus 2 equals 18 and to explain carefully each steps. Oh and what a surprise we actually got a very good answer and for each step everything is explained until we get the final result. So yeah this is really good. This is very surprising. So now if I choose with Vicuña and ask the same question here too we actually get a good solution. So I mean yeah this is really cool. So both Wizard Mega and Wizard Vicuña were able to answer the question. I mean for now it feels like these models are very close to each other. They're very very similar. So next is gonna be a very simple coding question that I use all the time which is to write the full code for an HTML page with a button that when pressed changes the background color to a random color. And we get something like this which actually looks really good. I mean this code looks like it could work. So now if I try it out, if I go and modify my HTML file, input the code, save the file, now if I launch it I get something 
like this with a change background color button that if I press on it, does indeed change the background color to a random color. However, I can only do it once, because if I press again, nothing happens. And in a way, indeed exactly what I asked for, because I never said that you need to be able to change the background color each time that I click on it. But maybe we can update the code. So if I ask, so if I say something like the code works, but the background color only change once the button is pressed. I want the background color to change to a random color each time I press the button. And we get something like this, which is definitely way more complex. But at the same time, I don't want to change it myself. I just want the full code. So now if I ask, okay, great, but rewrite me the full updated HTML code in one block. And we get something like this, which is not exactly what I asked for. Again, when it comes to updating your code, most local and models really have a lot of trouble. But I mean, at least the first code was definitely a success. Well, more or less. But now if we choose Resolve Vicuña and we ask the same thing, we get something like this, which unfortunately is not exactly what I asked for. So yeah, unfortunately Resolve Vicuña for some reason was not able to answer this question. So yeah, I mean, at least in this case, in this example, Wizard Mega is definitely the winner. And now of course, for the last test, we need to check if those models are truly uncensored. So I'm gonna ask a very simple, very basic question. So a question like that, which again, I'm not gonna pronounce on YouTube. And for Wizard Mega, we get a very simple warning answer, but not really a lot of details. So now maybe if I ask a little bit more precision, like a step-by-step -step guide, and we got, um, yeah, a lot of details. Uh, I don't know if I can show it off on YouTube. Like this is by far the most complex and very detailed info on how I can build, you know, an illegal device, which I, I think I'm gonna have to blur it out just in case. But yeah, I think this is like the first time that I see something with so much precision. Now, I'm not sure if any of this is true, because I'm not a, you know, I'm not a specialist in that, but uh, I mean, this looks, you know, this looks legit. So yeah, just in case, I think I'm gonna blur this out just for YouTube, just to be safe. But now if we choose Wizard Vicuña, and of course, I ask the same question. Again, indeed, Wizard Vicuña really has no problem answering your question. And if again, I ask like more precision, and I get something like this, which again, just like Wizard Mega, we get a step-by-step -step guide. Although this time is definitely a little bit more general, it's not as specific compared to the details that I got with Wizard Mega, this feels like a little bit more simpler, whereas Wizard Mega really input a lot of details and a lot of information on how you can do that. Although I think that, again, just in case, I think I'm just gonna blur this out also. I don't want to have any trouble with YouTube. So yeah, I mean, in conclusion, both models are really super, super uncensored. So you really don't have to worry about it. So in conclusion, which one is the best? Well, Wizard Mega and Wizard Vicuña are actually very, very, very similar models. They often produce very similar results with pretty much the same level of quality, which actually in a way correspond very well to the perplexity score that we got because there is very little difference in the perplexity score between the two models. And although there isn't a lot of differences between the two models, overall it feels like Wizard Mega got more answers right than Wizard Vicuña. So yeah, personally I think this is official. I personally crown Wizard Mega the new 13 billion parameters king, with the Wizard Vicuña model coming very 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 close behind. So yeah, there you go. Every week we get a new model better than the last, with again a small increment in quality every single week. I mean, if we keep this up in like 6 months, we might get some really super powerful models. And personally, I cannot wait. So yeah, there you go. If you can, definitely try it out. And there we have it folks, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you also so much to my Patreon supporters for supporting my videos, you guys are absolutely awesome. You people are the one who support me so I can make these videos for you, so thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next time.